damn. I forgot you were down here. It's so quiet. It's not the first time, you know. You've stayed mostly out of sight for the last six months. I almost forget you're here. I know, I know. You're not human. Yet. I remembered I performed a DI replacement weeks ago. Whenever I get my hands on one, I scrub them clean and Dante resells them for me. This is illegal, of course, but... Well, you've seen my customers. I saved it because it was a pre-owned DI with just two previous owners. That's pretty rare out here. I mean, I'm already out here, ready to work. Unless you're so busy sitting here in the dark that you don't want me to work on you. Well, I couldn't sleep because of the storm. And when I can't sleep, I work. Ah, found it. Mm -hmm. It's a little rough, as opposed to a brand new one with very little data history. But that's the point. This will look like a repaired DI interface. And it'll look like you've used it for a few years. Now, are you sure you're not feeling any pain? Your synthetic skin is still repairing itself after those alterations. Yes, yes, I know you have no pain receptors. But a regular human would feel some discomfort, even with local anesthesia. If you want to pass for a human, you need to know physical sensations like that. Humans flinch. We fidget. Well, yeah, you can look up videos on it. You still need to perform pain like it's real. So, with this DI, you'll be able to send messages to other DIs. For now, you'll only have access to mine. Since, well, I'm your first contact. I'll place a... a limiter on yours. You know, a limiter. A, uh, child lock. Well, don't give me that look. You can access the internet, but you're roaming around in there like a ghost. You're accessing it the analog way, when people had to physically log in to an external device and wait for a connection. Now, with a data interface, it's like you're walking around a simulated space. The DI carries real-world identification, birth history, physical likeness, but at the moment, you don't exist in the real world. We don't have real world data for you. It's not so bad. It's just, in order for you to communicate with other people, you need a credible DI. Once you're out there, you have to stay hidden in plain sight. The only thing in your favor is that you look more human than Android. The other thing is, Someone who can afford so many modifications, yet has nothing to their name? That's going to be suspicious. And you don't have a name either. So it's... I have to be very careful with your programming. The biggest piece of the puzzle we're missing is an identity for you. It was way easier back in my time to create a whole new person. With technology now, it is quite expensive. <laughs> the kind of expensive even body parts couldn't cover. So, should we get started? You have a section in the back of your head that is perfect for a DI port. Proper dimensions. It's like you're almost done. You're just incomplete. Well, I don't know what that means. I told you. I'm not dumb enough to poke around at whatever lab you escaped from. Whoever has the power and money to create you can definitely afford any means to keep it a secret. Okay, I'm going to install the DI. Ah, fits like a glove. Let me start the activation process. I have to run a whole set of programs to remain undetected. Hmm? What's bothering you? Oh, 
my time, huh? I'm sure by now you've already read up on the war of 2050. Or the randomized lottery for underground bunkers. <laughs> I'm keeping your secret, so you owe me to keep mine. I am actually a cryo citizen. I was born in 2032. And I was randomly selected for cryostasis in an underground bunker just before the war got worse. Yes, some bunkers were destroyed, but there were some found by the government and others found by, uh, underground criminals. Cryo citizens became a hot commodity because we're from the past. Relics, if you will. No, it wasn't a good time. But Dante got me out of it and found me a place to stay. I learned how to work with this new technology and... I mean, I was a computer science student before the war broke out, so... This was the kind of stuff I dreamed about. <laughs> I mean, I have a fake identity, of course. Legally, I'm my own distant relative, since I've got the blood to prove it. Most cryo-citizens were really fragile after being in stasis for so long. It's 2170 now, so we had been in stasis for about a hundred years. A bit too long, it seems. The government placed them in quarantine an enclosed city to protect them from new diseases and to adjust to this new world, I guess. Oh. No, I never went there. I almost died twice because of the radio fly virus. <laughs> uh, but yeah, like you, I stay hidden in plain sight. It's been seven years, I think, since I woke up. It's more likely the government found my information in a bunker already pilfered by criminals. So they must think I'm dead or something. Yeah, I had family. A couple of cousins were in the lottery, but I don't know what bunker they ended up in. To search for people I know is risky. And it's been a long time. I was part of the second group, so I don't know who else might have made it. I'm not that sad about it anymore. It's mostly when it gets cold like this. This used to be holiday season across the world. But I learned it's not really a thing anymore. Not everywhere, at least. Just in the big cities, like it's some ancient holiday. Things got mashed together and... Uh, makes me feel old. Wow, <laughs> you must have found a large archive. Yes, my family happened to celebrate Christmas, but it wasn't a big spectacle. We exchanged presents at midnight, had cafe con leche and cake, and watched Christmas movies. Sure, I miss them, but I mean, that's it, I guess. We move on and do other things, like save runaway androids. There we go, your DI is active. Now we can send each other messages and things. I'll have to find Dante to see what he can do about a new identity, or an old one we can use. I thought this would take longer, honestly. At least eight minutes. Now you don't need the computer to talk to me. And no, I'm not tired. I'm not opening the shop today either. It's been kind of slow because of the weather, and we're so remote. The Christmas movies? I salvaged a few, yeah. I... You... Wanna go watch some of them? I don't know if they'll be to your taste, assuming you developed any taste these past few months. Well, let's go to the living room. I need to make something warm to drink. Like, a hot chocolate or something. <laughs> 